A couple of NFL teams coming off very good performances last Sunday square off as the Buffalo Bills with a record of five and two travel to Seattle to take on the Seahawks, who are now four and three. And I have the winning point spread in that game. Please stay tuned because uh, you should be patient and you should stay tuned because, quite frankly, folks, 16 and four with my NFL free pick videos right here on Wager Talk TV since week three of the NFL season. So uh, before I get to that, just uh, there's a subscribe button underneath, folks. Hit that subscribe button. It's free to do so. It uh, it will be make you privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world today. And while you're at it, provide yourself a nice convenience and go into your YouTube settings and click on the alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV. Also, there's a like button underneath. If you can kindly just hit that, it will go a long way in uh, keeping the folks over at Wager Talk TV happy, me happy. And it's just a small token of your appreciation for the work, time, and effort I put in to bring you a quality free pick video each and every day, each and every week. All right, let's get to the matter at hand. And I appreciate you guys bearing with me there for a minute or two. But the Buffalo Bills right now are a three-point road favorite in this game. And the total is 47 and a half. I'm going to concentrate, like I alluded to at the top, uh, on the point spread here. And that's um, the point spread is three, with Buffalo being the favorite. Seattle uh, last Sunday snapped a three-game losing streak with a 34-14 win at Atlanta as a three-point underdog. However, the Seattle defense continues to be a concern. I know they only allowed 14 points last week, but they still allowed a lot of yards and over their last four games, the Seattle defense has allowed 30.3 points and 407.8 yards per game. Uh, it's hard to win when you're performing uh, so poorly on defense. And quite frankly, they're very fortunate they're one and three with those types of defensive numbers over that four game stretch. They're also allowing 146.1 yards per game on the ground for the season. And that's problematic when you consider the fact that Buffalo's got a couple of very good running backs that have been highly productive this year in uh, James Cook and rookie Ray Davis. And uh, one of the best offensive lines in all of football uh, being the Buffalo Bills. So they'll have their hands full, uh, especially when you consider the fact that Buffalo made that recent trade to get Amari Cooper the wide receiver from the Cleveland Browns, and he paid instant dividends last week. Despite the fact that he only had four days to prepare with his new team, Cooper uh, had four catches for 64 yards and one touchdown. And, uh, you know, uh, it's not only his production, but the fact that now Buffalo has a bona fide number one wide receiver that they really didn't have prior to this week and it allows the rest of their offensive skilled pieces to uh, set comfortably in the roles that they've been asked to do now. And nobody has to play outside of themselves in order for Buffalo to succeed. And we saw that last week because it resulted in Josh Allen going for uh, his first 300-yard passing game of the season. Allen hasn't thrown any interceptions this year. He's played very well, uh, but he's had very limited options in terms of uh, pe people on the outside, people in the slot, and uh, it, you know it didn't hurt. It didn't help, I should say, when he lost Shakir to uh, injury for a few games. But now they're all back, and uh, look for Buffalo to be a lot better offensive team going forward that we've seen up until this point of the season. Also, keep in mind Buffalo's a plus ten when it comes to turnover differential. Seattle's a minus three. Uh, Seattle, by the way, over their last four games on offense, 76 runs and 177 passes. Wow. Is that a lopsided pass to run margin? Uh, also Buffalo, on the other hand, has been extremely balanced, actually perfectly balanced. If you look at their offensive numbers, they've run the ball exactly to a 50, 50 split in terms of run pass. So, uh, I guess I worded that wrong. They're exactly 50-50 when it comes to run pass percentages in terms of the offensive plays they've run. 
I, I just, you know, I know Buffalo is a public side. I addressed this last week uh, when we discussed the game that I used in just because uh, a total or a side is a public play doesn't mean that it's an automatic loser. Uh, you know, again, folks, the public wins some of the time. Now, there's no doubt about it. Um, you know, uh, the, the books do win a majority of the, uh, uh, the time or all of them would be out of business by now if that wasn't the case. But solely to just use going against the public as your only premise to why you make a pick in the NFL, it's just never that easy, folks. So, again, I'm going to take Buffalo here, minus the three over Seattle. Don't forget to visit my personal link. That's wt.buzz slash rb. Uh, I had my first losing week in four weeks. Uh, first losing Sunday, I should say, in four weeks in the NFL this past Sunday. But we're going to bounce back strong uh, this week. Um, and uh, we're going to turn things around. And college football just continues to roll NBA off to a two and one start to the season. And you could check out all my streaks. My NBA has been on fire for quite a while now. And uh, again, you could check those all out at wt.buzz slash RB. You could see my daily picks that I have up each and every day. Also, uh, my subscription plans, which we're always giving you something, which is a special offer. So take advantage of that. Let's make a lot of money until the next time. Take care and God bless, folks.